Hi, my name is Diane, and today I'm going to show you how to create a slide for cytology evaluation from an aspirated sample, whether it's ultrasound guided or from a skin mass, a lymph node, or even a liquid sample, such as a transtracheal wash, abdominal fluid, pericardial effusion, or a urine sample. Basically, anything you can obtain cells from. The technique is pretty much the same um, no matter uh, what um, your source is for your cells. So, always start with new slides. If your sample was collected as a fine needle aspirate from a mass, your entire sample will be in this needle, very likely. So what you need to do is remove the syringe, draw back some air, reattach, position your needle over your slide, spray your sample onto the slide, Repeat this because you may have more sample in there and you don't want to waste any of it. Spray it again. And if you think you have more sample, try it again. Because like I said, you want to have as many slides as you can. To smear this, you take a new clean slide. Take one of your samples. Lay the second slide over top at about a 45 or a 90 degree angle. Press down firmly and then just smear it. And then you take your slide and just set it aside to dry. And do the same with each of your samples. If you have a fluid sample, such as a urine or a body cavity effusion, you want to use a method to concentrate those cells so you can create the best slide for evaluation. So what you'll do is you'll centrifuge your sample. And here I have one that I have already centrifuged. It's a urine sample. After you've centrifuged it, you will transfer the supernatant into another clean tube and save that. Don't just pour it down the sink because you never know when you're going to need it. Take a couple clean slides, take a transfer pipette, and you're going to want to resuspend that sample in a little bit of liquid, liquid that's left. Take a little bit of it, place it on the end of your slide. I'll take a second clean slide and at about a 40 or about a 70 degree angle will be better. Thumb and index finger or thumb and middle finger on either side of the slide, your index finger on the top. Place it right in front of your drop, draw it back, let it spread across the slide and then just push it along. It doesn't have to look neat as a blood smear, but as you can see, it's hard to see cuz urine is so pale but the liquid is just evenly distributed over the slide. And you do want to put that where, aside where it's safe and allow that to dry. And make three or four of those. You want to have as many as, as you possibly can. It may take up to 30 minutes for some of these slides to dry, especially if there's a higher fat content in any of your samples. So you, you definitely want to allow these to dry. Cells from a cytology sample um, are very fragile, so if you um, have not let them dry properly, they could easily wash right off your slide. Now, um, here I have a slide that's already dry. We're going to proceed to the staining procedure. Um, there are slides that are from cytology samples go through two fixing stages to try to get them to adhere to the slide. The first fixing stage is by using a lighter. And be careful of your fingers. You're going to want to run the flame under your slide. And it's okay that it turns black underneath. It's supposed to. Give it a little break for the slide to cool down a little bit. Do it again. You want it nice and black under there. And then you're going to wipe the soot off from the bottom. Now you're going to go to your dip quick stains. We're going to use a dip quick or diff quick stain, which is one of the most common stains that you'll see in an animal hospital. It is possible your pathologist may ask for a different stain, uh, but for most purposes, the dip quick works just fine. Um, this is the second part of the fixing procedure. You're going to do eight slow dips in the fixative. Tap 
tap it on a paper towel to absorb the liquid. Go to the second part, which is a stain. Hospitals use varying amounts of dips just depending on the hospital. Um, it's fine if your hospital uses more or less. This just works well for me. Blot it. Go to the third. Again, eight times. And blot it again. Now remember I said cytology samples are very fragile. Even if it's gone through the two fixing stages and the staining, you still run the risk of losing your sample if you wash it with tap water too strongly. So I like to get just a fast drip at most. Place the water right at the end of the slide and let it just roll off. You don't want to rapidly wash this or you could end up with nothing on your slide. And maybe a little bit at the end and do it gently until it runs clear. And you set your slide aside thoroughly dry and do the same for all your slides. And that's basically how you create a slide for a cytology evaluation. Thank you.